time has come to crack open the final beer sent to Redbeard by the awesome people at the Brasserie Les Deux Frères in Montreal. Thank you so much, two brothers. Oh! Be going down, people of the world! My name is Redbeard, and this is the Daily Drink Vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a bottle of Charles Henry Amber by the Brasserie Le Deux Frères. Damn right. I still can't believe that these guys contacted me and sent me, like, thank you guys so much for that. I still can't believe that happened. Like, I, I like all of your beers. Even that Belgian one was surprisingly good. So I'm, I'm really hoping this one kind of continues the trend and that I like it as well. And I don't know if you've noticed, but um, I finally was able to get this to retract. So now we're going to try and do the no-look grab, which I haven't done in a while. Look at that. First try. Nice. Let's crack her open. See if I can get to... Stay up there again. Nice, nice. Yes. Yes. Let's see what we've got. I'm expecting a uh, amber. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, it's actually getting a bit more head than I holy frickin' crap. Look at that go. Okay. Um we'll give that a second and uh finish from there. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to those of you watching my videos. The beer loves you all so very, 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 very much. Took about five minutes, but we got her into the into the glass, all of it. Looks quite nice. Very nice looking beer. Ooh, that smells caramel, butterscotch, vanilla -y. That smells really nice on the on the multi front. Let's give her a shot. Wow. This is bloody amazing. Super delicious, rich, multi flavors, and then kind of a lemony flavor or something in the finish. Maybe that, that hoppiness or something? I, I'm not sure, but it's it's really tasty. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And, of course, cheers to the two brothers. Or actually, what, who is... Cheers to you, Daphne, and the two brothers. Daphne's the one who actually contacted me and sent me the awesomeness. The beard loves you. Mm. It's delicious. It really is. No, no bad anything to say about this beer. Not a thing. That's just delicious, delicious, delicious beer. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Can't really read the French on the back just as has been the case for the other beers from them but I have the paper here so I'm not gonna read that quite yet but we'll look at the uh, I guess we the hops or Williamette uh, ha Hallertau middle fruit golden and cascade malts or malt to rang crystal goal and wheat malt I'll just let you take a look at that in case you don't know what I'm talking about because some of these could be in French as well. Temperature 5 to 10. I might have it a little bit colder than it should be right now. But it'll warm up and we'll be able to get the whole the whole experience. 6.2%, so a little on the stronger side for sure. Really good stuff. Mmm. So much. Mmm. Today being February 2nd, happy Groundhog Day, everybody. Yeah, I'm actually recording this a uh, day before February 2nd, so I don't know if the stupid shadow seeing happened. Doesn't make any sense. On this date in 1653, New Amsterdam, later becoming New York City, beautiful New York City, 
was incorporated. It's pretty interesting. I knew it was called New Amsterdam. I didn't realize it was incorporated in 1653, though. That's a long time ago. Like one of the first big settlements from the colonists from Europe, I guess. It's all around that time, wasn't it? I think. I'm not sure. I don't know my history that well. I'm learning as we as I do this, and you can kind of we're learning together. If you don't know these things either, yes, that works. All makes perfect sense. Sure, it does. Yeah. So, yesterday, after the entirely ridiculous occurrence that was the blog, the vlog with Marcel. Sorry about that. By the way, if you didn't like it, I don't know, it just, it didn't flow as nicely. There was a lot kind of more arguing and just, it was, it was ridiculous. It was two good friends just fucking going at each other kind of thing. But yeah, after that, he brought up that I should start maybe throwing in with the daily facts, perhaps a fact about particular beer or the brewery that I'm drinking. So not really going to happen today because today will be about the brewery like what's on the back of here what's on there I glanced at it and it is actually about the brewery kind of and the family the, the whole thing about them is Charles Henry is the grandfather of the two brothers if you didn't see my other two my other vlog regarding one of their beers and I think that is absolutely awesome that they named an entire series of their beers after their grandfather very much good on you, two brothers. I love that. I love this beer. I'm not really sure what I, I think. I think I might say I like the Hickson IPA. That fresh Hickson IPA. The best of the beers of yours I've tried. This, close second. For sure. Completely different flavors, though. So, you know. Of saying, what's your best multi beer in my opinion? This one. What's your best hoppy beer in my opinion? The IPA. So we'll leave it at that for now. Mm. Makes me kind of sad though, because this is the last of your beers that I have to try. And aside from the one beer store in Sudbury, where I found an old bottle of your IPA, I don't know where else to get more of it. So that makes me kind of sad a little bit. On this date in 1913, Grand Central Terminal was opened in New York City. Yeah, it's a pretty impressive thing. I was in New York City when I was in grade 10. I don't think I rode the subway, so didn't go there, but yeah. There's, I was only there for Maybe a week? Maybe? I can't remember how long, but not long enough to see anything, really. New York's insane. Way too big for me to live in. No, not, not for me. Definitely would like to go back and visit sometime. Okay. What it says on the back of this bottle... Charles Henry liked a lot of things. His family, his red convertible, Maurice Richard, Maurice Richard, Rocket Richard, hockey player, and playing cards. He also loved beer. If he was still among us today, we are convinced that this amber ale with subtle aromas would be his beer. His beer, the one that he, yeah. Fair enough. In the mouth, it unveils notes of butterscotch caramel, malted grains, and slightly roasted cereals. Its finality offers delicious lemony hop flavors. I got those lemony hot flavors. I'm happy with that. We named it in his honor and memory. Thank you, Grandpa, Nicholas, and Matthew. Great timing, whoever just messaged me. I hate you. And you're not getting replies yet. Cheers, Nicholas, Matthew. Your grandfather seems like he was a pretty badass individual. Mine was as well. I have two. My one that's still alive. He's pretty badass, but my one that passed away a while back now, he was... He was the man. Yep. Death sucks. A whole lot. This. 
does not suck at all. On this date in 17, no, why do I, why can't I read dates? 17? Like, no. On this date in 1976, the Groundhog Day Gale hit the northeastern U.S. and southeastern Canada. Giant, like, windstorm. Most of the damage occurred in New Brunswick with St. John, the... I'm pretty sure St. Saint, Saint John is the capital of New Brunswick. I am 90% sure. Uh, yeah, they had a whole bunch of flooding and ruined a whole bunch of shit. And power, communications lines knocked out. And then, to make it even worse, after all that happened, there was like a cold snap and everything basically froze. So, that would be really terrible. It was like $22 million-ish total damages caused. Excuse me. Mmm. Ooh. A lemony flavor came back. I really like your beers, two brothers. I have to say. Like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of the IPA originally because it was old. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember how, but it was it was a couple hundred days old or something like that. Way longer than you want to keep an IPA. And it, it wasn't bad. It just didn't have the hoppy presence I expected. When I retried it, fresh. Fucking awesome. Just like this one. Fucking awesome. So much of the awesome. Finally on this date in 2002, the ferry MV Rabul Queen sank off the coast of Papua New Guinea after near the fin Finshaven fin Goddamn foreign words. F I N S C H H A F E N district with an estimated 300 people that were just never found. Right. They didn't find their bodies floating or anything, or I don't know if the current maybe went some, took some people somewhere, or Papua New Guinea? I don't know for sure, but saltwater crocodiles? Maybe? Sharks? Other ocean creatures that might enjoy the taste of human. Well, gives me the chills thinking about it. I, I'm not an ocean swimmer. I went to Florida once with my mom and stepdad and my sisters when I was in grade eight. Went to Daytona Beach and I got up to uh, about like halfway up my shin in the water, and that was enough. There's too there's too many things. I know the odds, very low, but I don't care. You just have to be that one person that the fucking shark or jellyfish or other thousand things in the ocean happens to go after that day. And I just prefer to eliminate that risk from my life. And living in like the middle of Canada, you know, I'll stick with the freshwater. There are some things in freshwater that can fuck you up. Watch River Monsters, the show. It's scary. But here in Canada, not so much. Rambling, drink number last. Mm. That is damn tasty stuff. Pretty sure you date your stuff right, yeah, right here. Right there on the bottom. It's kind of a weird... It's even hard... Can I even get that on the camera? Can you see it on the camera at all? Kinda. It's like right there-ish. Looks better with the light behind it. Anyway, dates on here. Ingredients. You list your hops, you list your malts. I'm assuming on top of that, you've got like water and yeast. So you pretty much got your ingredients. And even if you didn't, you, I, I, you get like a bonus for this whole grandfather thing. I absolutely fucking love that. And this beer rating Charles Henry Amber fucking 10. That is absolutely fantastic beer. You guys are great and feel free to, I don't know, send some more of your beers my way because I want to try more of them. I looked at your website. You have a few more. There's a stout. I would love to try your stout. I'm not, don't, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm not expecting it, but thank you again so much for all that you sent to me and 
Thank everybody for watching because that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you got some save me, put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Random thought at the end of the video. Um, if you're new and you made it all the way to the end and you didn't hate what you just saw, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I have been fluctuating between 245 and 250 for like a month now. I go up to like 249 and then I go back down to like 245. I think I'm at 244 right now. It's it's slightly demoralizing. I gain subscribers, lose, gain, lose, gain. I just want to hit 250. Please help me.